was we took a group of patients who were the longest term survivors and we identified 82 people, patients, who had an average survival of six years with pancreas cancer, which is really quite um, rare in this field to have so many patients who have such long survival. To put that into context, the last study, the second largest study that looked at long-term survivors had only eight patients. So we had many more uh, patients who had this exceptionally long-term survival. And we looked, we compared those patients with a group of patients who were short-term survivors, who only survived less than a year with pancreas cancer. But all of these patients were stage matched. So stage for stage, they all had the same stage of cancer, but their survivals were completely different. And then we performed various different analyses on their tumors as well as on their blood to try to understand what made the long-term survivors different than the short-term survivors. And what we found was that the long-term survivors had about 12 times more activated immune cells, T CD8 T cells, which are the killer T cells that can fight cancers and infections. 12 times higher numbers of CD8 T cells in the tumors of long-term survivors compared to the short-term survivors. And then we wanted to go a step further and ask, well, can we now identify what is bringing these T cells into these tumors? What are these T cells recognizing in these long-term survivors with the hope that if we do find something that perhaps we can use that in, in the context of a therapy, for instance, as a cancer vaccine. So um, what we did was we used various different techniques sequencing techniques and other com computational techniques and immunologic techniques and we found that these T cells in these long-term survivors were recognizing specific types of mutations in the long-term survivors um, and we think that those mutations which we call neoantigens had very distinct properties which made them very very good targets for T cells and was bringing them into the tumors. One of the most striking findings of the study was that we could find the specific T cells that recognized these, uh, the best neoantigens, if you will, in the long-term survivors still in patients' bloods up to 12 years after their original surgery. So we think that points to these, um, these proteins, these neoantigens being very effective at stimulating an immune response. So we think that um, the, that makes them ideal candidates for developing a cancer vaccine for patients.